They tried to block the other vehicle from leaving because they thought the subject was driving drunk. Then the DK subject ran the other vehicle. We are the district crime suppression team, and by design, and the way it's formulated by the chief is our primary objective is to respond to those violent calls for service and be available for those calls as a uh, primary uh, strike force from the very get-go. Some of our primary targets when we're on the job is to uh, focus on drug dealers, gang members, and parolees who are out of line. Okay, check these guys out over here. I don't think they're uh, playing around. Uh, no, they're fighting. Oh, they're yeah? going good. Yeah, they're going pretty good out of here. Here we go. Let's go get them. Let go. Here, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. One Sam, 13 on two. Put your hands in the small of your back. Hey, Dave, 836, that guy? I'm sorry, one Sam, 13, go ahead. That on a physical disturbance, Palm and Olive will take one more unit. Put your hands in the small of your back. Palm and Olive, please. Right there, on the small of your back. Lay them on your back and don't move. Yes, sir. Hey, I said don't move. Don't move. I only got one pair, bro. Roll over on your butt. Sit up. Do you have any weapons? No, sir. Fold this leg in. What's your name, man? Stand up. Charlie? Get my backpack, Relax, we're not going anywhere. Hey, Dave, you want to take Charlie to have him sit over there? I'm going to talk I'm to you. I'm going to have him sit on the sidewalk, yeah. too. Relax, Come on over here. I'm going to talk to you right now. Come on over here for me, young man. What's your name? My name's Charlie. Charlie what? Charlie. Are you on probation or parole? I'm on parole, sir. You're on parole? Yeah. All right. Hey, listen up, man. Right now you're being detained. We've seen you guys fighting. We're not yeah. sure exactly what's, what's cracking here in a minute, okay? Yeah. Are you in, uh, need any type of medical assistance? I seen the guy kind of smack you down there a little bit. What happened? Well, nothing. Cause I came over from over here, cross street, and this guy is talking to me and telling me, talk to me. I said, what the f you talk to me for? And he just started getting crazy and fighting with me, so I tried to get away from his ass. And he, mm -hmm. and he pushed me, dude. He pushed you? On the ground. That's, yeah, when, you guys, that's when you guys drove up. Drove mm -hmm. up. And I thought, what did you do that for, man? And you guys drove up on me. Yeah, how much have you had a drink today, buddy? Uh, I had about a beer. About a beer? He was hitting you? Okay. Did you ever give him any money? No, okay. And you don't know him? How come you were hitting him when we pulled up? You knocked him to the ground and you started slapping him. How come no, you did I, that? I, I told him, you don't want, you know, you know, you know, kids pick out on me. Because he was picking on you? Yes, sir. Did he challenge you to a fight? He's the one that started. Stuff. How exactly did he start it? He punched me. Ask the, ask the man. Ask I, I'm asking you for right now. He pushed me. He tried to hit me in the face. But was he, he able to? No. He didn't connect with you? No, no, no. You're not injured at all? No, no, sir. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight? A couple of beers. A uh, couple is what? Two beers. Two? Yeah, what I'm size? Not lie, two. What size? 16 ounces. I'm two 16 drunk. ounces? Yeah, I'm not drunk. I know what I'm, you know, I'm not I can drunk. smell a lot of alcohol coming yes, off of yeah. you. Well, yeah. Do you live near here? You live yeah. nearby? Where? No, Calojito. Okay. You know where All right, all right, hang tight. I'm on parole, sir. You're on parole? I'm so you check in with our department here? Yes, sir. Register I, your address and yes, whatnot? Sir. Yes, sir. So I, they have your current I, address? What address are we going to have them file for you? They got, uh, uh, um, I don't remember. I got amnesia, so I do You got amnesia? Yeah, I can't remember my address. You can't remember your address? Um, Is it the address you just told me about over here in Kearney and West, though? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, yeah. Amnesia, do you have any other medical problems? Yeah, I got, well, just that, just that medical problem. Uh, Anything else? No, I don't. Sir. Are you sick or injured? Uh, no, sir. All right. He's saying something about a 211 over there, a robbery or what? You know what? I'm trying to get him to explain if this was a, an attempt robbery or if it's just a panhandling that kind of escalated to a shoving match. And, and he can't really articulate the attempt robbery to me as a whole thing. He seemed to be the, the bigger aggressor of the two when we were driving Well, up, when right? we got here, he says, yeah, I was defending myself because he started pushing on me. And that's what I was trying. Was he pushing on you and trying to beat you up while he was demanding money? Go ahead. Hello, I'm going to call number Uh, Palm and Belmont. Don't believe that, sir. Yeah, well, no, it's relax. I'll, I'll know what I'll do. One Sam 13. If you have us out at Palm and Olive, uh, it should be actually Palm and Belmont. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, this guy's adamant that our guy on parole started the fight. He was asking him for money. We just got into a fist fight. Okay. Come on over here for me, young man. 
All right, so you still contend that the only thing that was going on was uh, that's it. this guy just started bow up on you yeah. for no reason? That's it. When I came across here, he just came with attacked me, dude. For no reason? No reason at all. Right, just out of the blue, huh? Yeah, that's when you got to go, whoa, he was attacking up me. You guys seen that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've seen that's him yeah, kind of coming down here a little bit. Me, all right. Yeah. Okay, we'll see what we got here in a minute. Okay, what do you need me to do? Uh, you know, if you don't mind just standing by with this guy right here, we'll figure out uh, what my partner Dave's got going over here in a minute, okay? You want me to start tag on him? If you could do that, would be great. Okay. Probably be for 3056. Right. Sounds like you were trying to protect yourself, right? Right. I gave him some change, and then he tried to harass me for some more money and threw me against the wall, and I protected myself, and I threw him against the ground, and I just slapped him once. And... You got every right to do that, all right? Thank Come you. on up, man. Yep. Appreciate your cooperation, and we just got to handcuff everybody all involved and wait to see what we got, and that's our job, to investigate and make sure everybody's... You know, stories are straight and whatnot, and, and yours definitely pan out, so. And when we when we drove up, it looked like you were robbing him. <laughs> no, I just protected myself. Yeah, yeah. Nothing you have wrong every with right, that. You right to do so. Nothing wrong with that. Are you trying to take my handcuffs or what? Yeah, okay, good mind. to go. <laughs> All right, All right. Get, gather up your stuff, and yeah. you're walking home? Yes. Sir. You need a taxi cab? You okay to walk? I'm okay, I'm okay, sir. Okay, gather up your stuff. You. Appreciate your cooperation. All right, Charlie. I wasn't here to see what happened, but uh, he claims that you were trying to rough him up a little bit and maybe take some of, some money for some beer. Give me a, give me the cuffs. I'll be in there. Put a hand on Yeah, all right, I'm well. Put my hand on my and then, Yeah, he kind of had the best of you on the ground. He kind of gave you a little slap across the face. That's all I know. What's a slap, though? Slap, yeah, okay. Can't put a hand on his ass now? Not right now. He's gone. Huh? He's gone. He's walking away. So he's gone. Yeah, he's going home for the evening. You're going to be going to jail. He's, he's, he's going for free. Yeah. Well, when you're on parole, you play by different rules. You know what I mean? Especially when you got those conditions indicating you can't be drinking and you're in blatant violation of it, all right? Have a sit down and talk with your parole officer tomorrow. Thank you.